Hi, I'm Megan Griffiths. I've directed the films The Night Stalker, Lucky Them, Eden, and The Off Hours. I'm here at KCTS today speaking with directors of short films playing on Real Northwest. Well, let's talk about your movies that are streaming right now. So From the Sky is about a uh, father and son in, in the Middle East. Father being peaceful uh, and the son at that age, the young age, being more conflicted. <laughs> And, and them trying to navigate um, a landscape which they are not trying to participate, which ranges from drone strikes to militants, and them wanting to sort of be who they are, which is um, more nomadic, and stay out of the, the fray or the fold. And I think art challenges us and says, like, what do you care about? I was blogging on human rights, so I actually genuinely cared about drones. I wanted to see it from the opposite human perspective. And Dimitri, what about you? Tell me about the genesis of your film. Strangely enough, uh, I dedicated this film to my uh, two of my grandmothers. Um, uh, the two of them are uh, geometrically opposite. Uh, they're two very lovable human beings. They're uh, over 90, God bless them. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I hope. Um, and uh, uh, two of them are, are kind of not friendly with one another, but kind of friendly because they have to, but they have this uh, uh, dynamic of, uh, a little bit of a conflict. But when an incident happens, it brings two of them together. And I thought, what would be the platform to introduce that type of a relationship? Hey, don't you people have manners? <laughs> Uh, so it spoke pretty much on the universal level. And why not bring it to the level of race, where um, you have black and white, and expose it to a point where there is tension. And then really to show that um, it's really all the same. And we as human beings have obligation to be human beings and to be kind to one another and to bring that type of love and to show that really we are the same under one sky. It's great. Yeah, there's a humanistic uh, thread running through this That's panel. Right. Um, and talk about the title and how you came upon that title. Well, um, uh, music is very, very special to me. I'm a musician first, so I'm a classically trained pianist, oh. and I wrote the score, the original score for the film as well. And uh, um, music sort of uh, is a, a grand theme throughout this whole film, um, where um, Earl has his music, Bernie, the other character from Shade of Music, uh, uh, they have their own music and uh, the music that unites both of them together. And uh, um, Shade is really, I wanted to introduce the, um, the, uh, uh, the notion of color, shade, shade of music. And you both chose to shoot your films in Washington. Yours is set in the Middle East. Yours is sort of more ambiguously uh, placed. Well, um, uh, and I think you both would agree with me when you're uh, on pretty much no budget. Um, uh, you can't take your uh, crew uh, into many exotic places and you have to shoot where you are. We were very lucky actually. We shot in three locations. We shot it uh, predominantly in Tequila, um, near the airport. So we had fun while the planes were flying every oh, 20 yeah. minutes. That was great. Helpful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, we shot in Capitol Hill, um, and uh, we also shot in West That's Seattle great. in one of the colleges for the, uh, the medical scene, in the, 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 the hospital scene. Uh, talk about shooting um, the desert in Washington. <laughs> yeah. People don't think it exists. We had gone to Yakima River County, I think, which was uh, something that had been suggested to us, and it was like um, just too Scottish or something. I mean, it was like worlds away. So a photographer for a friend and I actually just sort of wandered past Vantage up around the back of it, and there was like a gate that we sort of just went up. Uh, it turns out it's like not Ginkgo State Park, but it's Wanapum, which is like even more removed. Uh, and we ended up getting like permits for that, which was, you know, crazy to us. And then the waterfall scene, which we're particularly like excited about, that was the other side of the Columbia River um, by the Fingers, which is like literally under the Gorge Amphitheater. 
So both of you made narrative films. Can you talk a little bit about um, the casting process? You want to start, Dimitri, and how you found your two <clears throat> leads? For this particular film, we're dealing with a special demographic. We're dealing with the uh, 65 and over. So I uh, have to say I got a very, very lucky. A friend of mine introduced me to Malcolm uh, J. Uh, West, who plays the lead, and he uh, was just fantastic. When he came in on the uh, audition, he, he didn't even have to audition. It's just it felt very, very natural. Uh, that he would suit the part. Um, the opposite of him, William Michael Paul, um, he came in and uh, I liked him a lot. I've interviewed other people, I've auditioned other people, but uh, when two of them got together, there was this type of chemistry, this type of love that was created and they read it together and it just felt right. Having a great, a great community of actors here, uh, one of your uh, good bits of advice was, you know, the Arabic hurdle will make that more challenging. Otherwise, you have all the talent in the world that you would need necessarily. So we tried here, uh, and the Arabic thing proved sort of too difficult. So we ended up going to LA. Maz Sayam, who plays the father, and uh, Mohammed Tamimi, who plays the son. I had seen them in um, a really great short film where they have very different roles. You talk about chemistry, both of you, with your with your cast. Um, did that translate over to the teams, the crew that you pulled together? I have to say that every single member of my crew, and I would vouch for each one of them, and uh, each one was a trooper. And uh, um, personally, I try to pick people that are much better than me because um, yeah. that, that's the way yeah. to do it. That's <laughs> the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. I always feel like uh, you know the director has to have the big picture in mind all the time. So you want people who are thinking about these very specific, smaller parts of the machine. Um, because you just physically can't put that much detailed thought into every single aspect. So yeah, the actors bring it, crew, every crew member brings it. It's a process and you have to stay faithful to the process and you just have to see it through and believe that it's at the end it's going to work out. And uh, for me, really in the post-production, I'm more concerned with transitions. Transitions, transitions, transitions. How do we go from one moment to another moment? And so yeah, that's what I really watch in post-production. It's a great, like it's a great learning experience to see it finished. Yeah, I mean you want to learn at every stage of the process. So everything has something to teach you for the next one. And if you make your for the first movie is the best one, then you're kind of in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have not yet watched the real Northwest Shorts, you can do so at kcts9.org slash real NW. I'm Megan Griffiths and thank you for watching.